Hi folks, welcome to another coaching nugget. This time we're gonna take a closer look on why you get saddle sores, one of the ugly topics in cycling. Friction is a pretty obvious reason for getting saddle sores, but there's another one. Let's dive into it. There are two threats to the skin at your buttocks, which can cause saddle sores. Obviously it's friction, but also pure pressure is enough to cause pain. Let's look at an example. If the rider weighs 80 kg and the weight is evenly distributed, 27 kg of the body weight are carried by the feet and hands. Consequently, another 27 kg are bared by your buttocks. Assuming a rather hard saddle, this weight is spread over about 18 square centimeters. With this formula, we can translate this into pressure. Our 80 kg heavy rider has a constant pressure on his butt equal to about 1.4 bar or 21 psi. But what does this mean? Well, the human skin barrier is threatened if the pressure increases above 200 millibar. So cycling can harm our skin barrier and the pressure alone leads to saddle sores. Even if your bike fit, bib shorts and saddle are a perfect match which cause no friction at all. Let's take a closer look on our skin barrier. Its most important part is called stratum corneo. The exterior layer prevents little particles from getting into our body. Beyond that, the corneal suits form a layered barrier with the lipid matrix. This is also called the bricks and mortar design. It prevents the loss of water. Thus, a healthy skin barrier helps that your skin does not dry out. Now, what happens to the stratum corneum if the pressure is constantly beyond 200 millibar? First, the exterior layer gets permeable. Consequently, little particles can get inside the skin and destroy the bricks and mortar structure. In the end, water can leave the skin cells, your skin dries out and you get saddle sores due to pressure. But what can you do about it? Most importantly, take care of your butt. Skin care is not done during a race, but prior to it as a daily routine. Calm oil cream can reduce friction and help to prevent your skin from drying out. But even more important is that you have a skincare product that fits your skin type and maintains your skin barrier as long as possible. Second, try to relieve pressure as much as possible. That's necessary so that your body has the possibility to remove dead skin cells. This can be done by riding in standing position for at least 60 seconds one time per hour and by changing your position in general regularly. Now, let's wrap this up. Cycling creates a dangerous amount of pressure on your skin. Consequently, the natural skin barrier deteriorates. Foreign objects can break through the outer layer and cause more harm. Water can escape, thus making the skin even more vulnerable. So, take care of your skin prior to the race and relief pressure as much as possible. I hope this helps to reduce your problems with saddle sores in the future. And if you're looking for more ultra cycling and bikepacking beauty tips, then hit the follow button. See you next time. Ciao, Stefan.